Welcome everyone! Apple's walled garden has finally been broken. Check this out. So my iPhone 12 Pro has the real always on display. It also has the real dynamic islands. Moreover, in the software that I'll show in today's video, you can do stuff such as enable the boot chime, enable iPad OS on your iPhone, real iPad OS. Moreover, you have all of these mods right here. And then you even have all these extra mods. So much customization. This is just like the jailbreak days for all these tweaks fully running and operational. And that's all going to be shown in today's video. So first of all, let's make sure we are supported because we are you know, modding our iPhone. Apple is not going to allow this forever. So first of all, I want you to open up your settings. And then you're going to look for general and then about the top. So at the time recording, all iOS versions support the Nugget package. So iOS 26.1, all the way down to iOS 18.0, fully working on all iPhones, no problem. However, if you're watching in the future, Apple will release iOS 26.2, iOS 26.3, iOS 27, iOS 28, those softwares may not work with the Nugget app. Try at your own risk. There's a couple of steps we will first need to do on the device. What I'll do first is I'll remove my dynamic island and always on display. Those will be the tweaks I'll be enabling in this video, but I'll go through the entire Nugget software, all the Cydia tweaks you can enable. Let's get this started. Let's do this. If you're happy to proceed, let's start by opening up settings. Then I will need to tap your name at the very top. Then you're going to look for the Find My option. And we first need to start by turning off the Find My iPhone. This is a temporary procedure. Once you have all of the tweaks, like always on display, Dynamic Island applied, you can turn this one back on. We also need to, from our settings, scroll down until we see the passcode option and you will need to turn off your passcode. This is also temporary. Once you've done the dynamic island always on display, you can turn back on your password. No problem. We are now going to open up our Safari browser and I want you to Google for save mobile jest iOS and you're looking for this routine hub website. I will leave the links you need in the description. So on this website, you'll see Save Mobile Gestalt. On this website, I want you to scroll all the way down and the option you want is the Get Shortcut button. There's like these download advertisements, they are ads. Just tap Get Shortcut right here. And then this is an advertisement as well. So just tap the Close button. So just tap Close to remove the ad. And then you can see it will download the shortcut just like this. If it gives you the option to add shortcut, excellent. Just tap on add shortcut and it will be added to your device. Now, sometimes I tap get shortcut and it wants you to sign in with an account. What I find works is if you just reload the page and then we'll just close out this and we'll try the get shortcut option again. You can see that time it works. If they start forcing you to create an account and that doesn't work, then you'll just have to choose the sign up option and just quickly create an account and then the get shortcut button will start working. Once we have the save mobile gestalt shortcut, we're just going to tap it to run it. And then if it asks for any permissions, you're just going to always allow these permissions. So I'll just always allow them like this. There's currently a bug where it says an update's available, but when you download the update, it like doesn't do anything. So if you do have this option, I hope this will be fixed in later, but just choose the later option. There's no update that exists. So just tap on later. Then we see save mobile gestalt. And I want you to choose the manual method right here. So just select this one and then allow the permission to copy to clipboard like this. It will then show the instructions. So let's tap on OK and I'll show you what to do. So first of all, we're going to tap where it says click here. Then it's going to show this graph. We are looking for the file option. So it's right here. You can just move your finger around if needed. So just tap on file. 
and then you're going to see the n s string it should be at the bottom just double check n s string tap into here and then in here you're going to tap on the empty space once and then tap in that same place again and then we're going to choose the select all like this and then we'll tap on copy right here if you prefer you can always just double tap on the text and then slide this blue thing across to select it all but i just prefer the double tap select tool copy option and then once this text is copied let's tap the back button here and then you're going to tap the tick at the top right and then just tap the back button and then tap tick again and now it will say allow save mobile jest alt to share dictionary let's allow this one like this and then we will have our mobile jest alt file which is required to do the tweaking we can just tap save to files like this and then inside of here we'll just tap back until we see browse and then just choose on my iphone and then we'll just tap the save and we have now saved the mobile jest alt file into our device to access this file let's look for and search for the files app so we'll see files app we'll open this one up and we'll tap on the browse at the bottom right and then we'll just go back until we see the browse here and we'll just choose all my iphone and we should see the property list.plist or just any new .plist file that was created once we have this let's long press on this file and we now need to move this file to a computer so I'm going to tap on the share button here and then I'm going to email the file to my computer so I'll just email myself with the same email address you could also use airdrop you can use Discord, you can use Google Drive any way to move this file, use it. I'm personally going to use email. Now we just need to move to our computer. You can use Windows or Mac. So I'm going to move right now and I'll show you the next steps. Let's first of all download the Python application. All links will be in the description. So on Windows, it will say download Python install manager. On Mac, it will just say download Python. Now on Windows and Mac, you will see the download completes, click on this one, and then if it gives this open executable file message, just click OK. I would recommend turning off launch when ready. It doesn't matter if this is on, but just leave it off and then click install Python like this. Once installed, we can exit out of this one. For Mac users, when the setup loads, it will look slightly different. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Now let's head into the Nugget GitHub link. I'll have this one in the description. And on this website, you can first of all see the source code. This shows you that the software is safe to use because any developer can check the code. And if there's viruses, if there's anything dodgy, then it will be flagged up. But what we're gonna do first is scroll all the way down and keep on scrolling until you see requirements. For Windows users only, click on the Windows button and then click the app from iTunes Apple website button. This will take you to the iTunes download and just click the download to download iTunes. Download and set up iTunes from this link even if you've already done it in the past. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna scroll up and we're gonna look for the releases button. So let's click on releases right here. It will show you the latest release. This version number might be higher in the future and what we're going to do is we're going to look for the Nugget download. So you have Nugget Mac OS ARM, which is M1, M2, M4 Pro Max chips, the Apple Silicon. You have Intel, Mac OS, the ancient ones. And then you have Nugget Windows. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click on Nugget Windows and I will download the zip file like this. Now on Windows, once this is downloaded, you just need to click into the .zip. We see the Nugget folder. We just click into this one and then we click extract all and then we just click extract and that will extract the nugget application to our computer on mac you just drag and drop the nugget app into the applications folder 
and then you'll be good to go. Before we proceed, regardless on Windows or Mac, I want you to restart your computer just to prevent any errors, any issues from showing up. To use the Nugget app, let's first of all locate the app and then we will see Nugget. Let's double click to open this one. Now on Windows, it will stay starting Nugget inside of a CMD window. On Mac, it just opens up the app directly. If you see this runtime warning, ignore the warning. Nugget will work perfectly fine. If on Windows, it says Windows protected your PC, just click the more info option and then click run anyway and just agree to any permissions that are requested. Before we proceed with Nugget, we now need to move to the iPhone quickly. And I just want you to plug in your iPhone to the computer. So plug it with the charging cable. And then you should see on the device, trust this computer. If not, unlock the iPhone and then we'll just tap on trust. If you don't see this prompt, don't worry too much. You might have already trusted the computer in the past. Back on Nugget, we're just gonna click the refresh button to refresh and you should see your device showing up right here with the correct software. Inside of Nugget, there are two parts to this application. So the mobile desktop requires a bunch of extra steps, which I'll cover in this video, not a problem. However, let me first cover the status bar options and the miscellaneous options. So you can just tick or untick whatever you want here. And so I personally click modify for status bar and you see primary cellular, you can actually change the carrier text. So on my main iPhone here, this is my personal iPhone. You can see my carrier name is called Saunders. I quite like that, but you can do whatever you want here. And then when you're happy, you can just click apply, click apply changes, and then it will apply onto the iPhone. It's, it's really that simple. However, when it comes to mobile desktop, there's gonna be a lot of extra steps. I'll break them all down, no problem, so let's begin. We are now going to click on the apply button here. And then we're gonna select choose gestalt file. So that was the file that we extracted from our iPhone using the shortcuts app. So click into this one and then just look for that file. So mine is just called property list. So we'll just click on open and then we can see that the current gestalt file location and we see the file that we just selected. Excellent. Now let's go into the mobile gestalt option and in here, if we want always on display, just scroll down and turn on the enable always on display option. If this on its own doesn't work, we can later try turning on enable AOD vibrancy, but just leave this one on, try this alone for now. For the dynamic islands, you will see device subtype preset. And if we click into this one, you can see all of these options. So if you have a Pro Max iPhone or a Plus iPhone, just use the preset for Pro Max. So 15 Pro Max, 16 Pro Max, 14 Pro Max. If you just have a regular Pro model or just a non-plus, this is just regular iPhone 12 Pro, I'm personally gonna choose the iPhone 16 Pro non-max dynamic island option. So there we go, that is selected right here. Once your choices have been selected, Let's head into the apply option. Before we click apply changes, understand that we will need to do this a minimum of twice. So the first time we click apply, you will see the enabling developer mode message. Now, after this happens, you will see error. You must enable developer mode on your device. So we can do this via settings. We have to click apply and get this error before developer mode shows up in our settings app. So this was necessary. This wasn't a useless step. So on the device itself, we now need to open up our settings, then scroll all the way down until you see privacy and security. Then scroll to the very bottom and you're going to select the developer mode option it's right under security, so let's choose this one and we'll turn this one on. It's gonna restart our iPhone, swipe up and enable. If developer mode did apply successfully, it's fully showing in your iPhone, then we can proceed to apply the mobile gestalt options. So what I'd recommend you do is just close out and reload the Nugget app, just like this. 
And then once it loads up, we just need to do the exact same stuff from earlier. So I'm going through it quickly. I've just chosen the mobile desktop file again. And then in mobile desktop, I'm going to choose my options. So the dynamic islands, they're always on display. And then we click apply. And this time you're going to click apply changes. And what it's going to do is it's going to apply for real this time. Now the software is buggy, so it might take a couple of attempts to apply. But if you look at the iPhone, it's opened up the books app. Yes, the books app. And we now need to download a book. Now this sounds ridiculous, but you can see if I go to my uh, desktop here, you can see, please open books app and download a book to continue. So we just need to download any book. It can be completely free. So let's find a free book. So in the books app, I've just searched for free book. And then I'm just going to get this, uh, this free cookbook like this. And we'll just get this onto our device. So there we go. I have now downloaded the book. So <laughs> you might think this is a joke. This is not a joke. This actually works. So once the book has downloaded, you will notice the books app will crash. It will reopen. And then you can see the iPhone is going to do a little restart. Now you will notice immediately I have dynamic island there, but also let's go back here. You can see success all done beautiful. So back on the iPhone, you can see I have the real always on display showing up right here. That's always on display. You can see I've locked the iPhone and I have that real dynamic island. So you will notice that it can say uh, stage one completed. The script will open books app to finish stage two. We'll just tap on done. Now this is already you know, completed, but uh, we'll just open books app just to be safe. But this is already done. So dynamic island is kind of hidden right now. Okay, guys. So just a simple restart of my iPhone. So just pound volume down, turn off, turn back on. That has fixed the dynamic island. You can see everything is now fully working. We're all good to go. Real dynamic island, real always on display. Now, if you do want to revert the changes, please keep watching. Uh, it's important you understand this. Either you can just update the software in your settings that will revert the changes, but so uh, you won't be able to enable Dynamic Island in the future. You can also go into Nuggets, and if you just choose your mobile desktop file again, and under mobile desktop, you just remove your tweaks you chose earlier, and then click apply, then that will just revert all of the changes nice and simple. Now, real quick, YouTube don't promote my videos like they used to. So if you found this video useful, you got always on display, you got Dynamic Islands in your iPhone, it really would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, I found this video useful, thank you. Any questions, any comments, just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Have a nice rest of your day, bye-bye.